I thought I'd talk for a few minutes here tonight about what separates professional drivers from the rest. What do professional drivers do differently than the rest? I thought of a few tips and, and one of the things that professional drivers do is they're, they're courteous on the road. They're, they take the well-being of others on the road into account. They're courteous to the four-wheelers, for instance, even though the, the four-wheelers aren't necessarily very courteous to them. And, and they're courteous to other drivers, too. Give other guys the benefit of the doubt. Be a gentleman about it. Help out whenever you can. If you see a woman on the side of the road changing a flat tire, pull over and give her a hand. The type of thing we all used to do, but you rarely see anymore. And just take the time to help out. Blow your horn when the kids do the motion. Professional drivers check and double check and keep an eye on their equipment constantly. They're always glancing over it, looking at it when they're stopped for fuel or, or when they're on their 30 minute rest break or if they stop for a sandwich or something. You always see the pros glancing at the truck, checking, having a look at everything, looking at the wheels, looking at the lights, looking at anything that might be out of place. They constantly scan the equipment and they just keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it in the truck stops. Even when they're out and away from the truck, they'll have a peek out, make sure no one's messing with the truck, make sure the cargo is secured and locked so nothing can disappear out of the load, that type of thing. They're always checking the equipment. Something else professional drivers do not do is to sacrifice safety for the sake of a schedule. Guys that are running behind and are scared to miss the appointment, a pro won't pick up the pace to the point where he's traveling unsafely on a slippery road or something like that. He won't try to rush and weave and dodge through traffic because he's five minutes away from his appointment or he's worried he's going to miss his appointment. The pros just take it all in stride. If they're going to be a little late, they call the shipper and say, hey, you know, I'm hung up in traffic or whatever. But never, never do they drive like fools just to make the schedule. They get there when they get there and they get there safely every time. They don't rush and do stupid things, just try to, try to save 15 minutes here or there. Something else that professionals do, and I'm a stickler about this, is take pride in your ride. And you've heard that before. You know what that means. You've heard that expression. Keep the thing clean and neat and functional inside and out. Make it look the best you can make it look. And it'll, it'll earn the respect of others on the road. It'll earn the respect of the DOT when you go through the scale. It'll earn the respect of the troopers on the highway. They'll think there's a guy that's keeping up with his equipment and they'll leave him alone. Take pride in your ride. And you'll feel better too if your living space is clean inside, if it's all organized. You haven't got junk on the floor or crap piled on the mattress in the back. Take pride in, in your equipment. That goes for company guys or owner operators. Even the company guys, it never hurts to keep your truck clean. Why wouldn't you? Finally, how can I say this diplomatically? I've met a lot of super truckers that know everything. But I've never met a professional that claimed to know everything. Trucking is, is a learning experience. You're constantly learning and listening. Things are changing. You have to adapt to them. The pros listen, learn, adapt, work on their skills, improve their skills, find out what's new coming down the pike, decide if that's going to work for them or not. And the pros listen, are aware, and keep up with the changes. And they're not off in the truck stop having coffee, shooting off their mouth. They're, they're learning all the time. Guys with 40, 50 years experience, those guys are still learning. You never quit learning. It's the guys that quit listening, the super truckers that are the ones that are a danger to the industry, but the pros are always paying attention. Just a few little pointers. What separates the pros from the rest of the gang? And you want to be a pro in this industry. You want to stand out. You want to be the best you can be. And something else I want to point out too is you don't have to be an old seasoned hand to be a professional. New guys can be professionals too. It's all in the attitude. It's how you keep your equipment, how you tackle the job, how you treat people. The new guys can be just as professional as the old guys. And you want to strive to be that always. Be a pro at what you do. Having said all that, you guys seem to enjoy the lot lizard stories. So I've got another one for you here today. This, 
this was a long time ago now, and there were a bunch of us sitting around like a little bonfire that we built at the 76 truck stop in Ontario, California. So it shows you how long ago that was, because there was still a 76 there, and it was at the corner of 10 and 15, where, you know, where the big truck stops still are today. But at one time, uh, that one was a 76, and there they had a, a dirt lot out the back and up against the fences and stuff, so you could build fires and stuff like that. So there were three or four of us in there one night. The the sun was starting to go down. I think it was a Friday night too. We were sliding into the weekend and everybody was kind of relaxing and sitting around this this little bonfire chewing the fat. And in rolls one of the most beautiful Kenworths I have ever seen. God, it was a beaut. And he rolls slowly by us and he picks a spot just down from where we're all sitting and, and backs it in and, and hops out. Man, it's a nice truck. So I get up and go over to check out this truck because it's not very far away. It's a short walk and I want I want to see it. I want to see what he's done and what it's like. And, and uh, out pops like a, a big biker type driver, but you know, clean, nothing, nothing wrong with him. But he had a beard and long hair, I remember. And out of the other side comes a California blonde, a typical California blonde. And she takes off and I think, well, she's going into the truck stop for the the bathroom or for coffee or something like that. So I'm admiring this guy's Kenworth and I'm, I'm chatting away to him and, and there was a lot of money invested in this truck. I don't know how else to say it. So I, I said, you know, boy, you must, you know, you must be getting some pretty good freight. You've got a lot of money here. It, it looks, it looks great. And I'm kind of envious. And he goes, yeah, well, the, the, the girl helps the lizard helps. I said, what? He says, oh, the blonde that just got out, that's a, that's a lot lizard. And she rides with me. And every time I stop at night for the night in the truck stop, I turn her loose in the park a lot. She goes out and makes some money. She splits it with me when we get back. And the next day we're on our way. Holy God, is life ever different down here? I could hardly believe it. But that's how this guy was helping to finance this big fancy ride that he had. And I didn't even want to know anything more about their relationship or anything like that. But that was what this guy was doing to make a little money at night when he stopped. It was, it was kind of ingenious and kind of sick all at the same time. But that's my lot lizard story for tonight. Today I want to give a shout out to those guys down in Louisiana. I've got my Fred's truck stop shirt on from Giesmar. We're thinking about you guys down there. The, the winds are picking up. We're hoping it doesn't turn into hurricane force winds, but we're pulling for you down there. We want you to know we're thinking about you. So good luck, stay safe. Take care, keep the rubber side down. Watch who you talk to in the truck stops. And I'll see you on the back home.